Hello friends! In this tutorial we are going to import the Paragon Steel character to our fighting game using the Unreal Engine 5 runtime retargeting. In one of the future tutorials we will also add some of the Paragon characters without any kind of retargeting, just using their native animations. Just a quick disclaimer. Some people claim that my lessons are too long. Well, I tend to explain everything, so even a new buy could understand what is happening on the screen. I recommend you watching the entire tutorial series, and it doesn't matter if the videos are too long in someone's opinion. Friends, please just consider this as an investment to your education. Just take a deep breath, relax and follow the tutorials in a meditative way. The true fighting game engine gives you amazing possibilities, but we must know the tool if you want to use it in a professional way. Let me remind the true fighting game engine is my project for Unreal Engine that allows you create your own AAA class fighting games. You can easily add attacks, combos and hit animations, import characters based on any skeletons and create either single player or multiplayer fighting games. You can check out my other tutorials in this playlist to learn how to do all of this. And with the true fighting game engine you can create either Mortal Kombat style or Tekken style games depending on your needs. You can find the link to that project in the description below this video. So, I have just extracted a brand new uh, true FG project to a separate folder. And before we launch it, let's rename it to true FG steel. Right. And let's now open the project. So it has been opened, let's check it and it works fine. Now we want to import the steel character to the project. To do so let's open the Epic Games Launcher. We navigate to the library tab and under the vault section we search for steel. Right? And we select the add to project Click the Add to Project button. Let's search for our newly created project. Let's type Steel. And here is our newly created True FG Steel project. And we press the Add to Project button. So the Steel character has been exported to our project. Let's check it out. Yeah, and we see here the newly created Paragon Steel folder. Uh, but now, to create a character based on Steel, using the real-time retargeter, we need to have a, an IK retargeter for this skeleton. And I have created this retargeter. I will place the link below this video in the description section. Let's open up the link to the, to the file and download the steel IK zip archive. Yes, and we open the folder and we extract the archive. The steel IK folder. And let's now copy the steel IK folder and paste it into the folder containing our new project. Uh, we navigate to the content and just for convenience let's for now uh, paste this folder to the Paragon Steel folder. All right? We paste it. Let's now go back to our project and here under the Paragon Steel we have the Steel IK rig and still I carry targeter from the UE4 mannequin skeleton. Let's open it up. So 
So, uh, where we can find the meshes for our steel character? If we navigate to the Paragon Steel Characters Hero Steel, we see here we can see here the mesh uh, for the steel character. Now, what we want to do is uh, to create a new character for our True Fighting Game Engine project. To do so, we navigate to the True FGE Demo Characters. And let's create a new folder and name it Steel. Now, let's navigate to the Mannequin folder. As we have a retargeter from the UE4 to Steel Skeleton, we want to copy this Mannequin UE4 blueprint. Let's duplicate it. And let's rename it to BP True FG Steel. Alright, and let's drag it and drop to our newly created steel folder and select the move here in the pop-up menu. Now, let's go to the steel folder and open the blueprint. So, on the viewport. Uh, now, in the components tab, let's select the mesh component and click this add button and let's start typing mesh and we add a new skeletal mesh under our mesh and let's rename it to steel mesh All right and we select it and at the right in the details tab in the near the skeletal mesh option we select our steel skeletal mesh let's scale it down a bit to do so near the scale option let's lock click this lock button let's try something like 0 0.85 maybe maybe even less 0 0.8 and maybe even 0 0.75. All right. Right. Now we want to retarget the mannequin animations to our steel skeleton in real time. Let's save and compile the blueprint for now. And to retarget the animations from the UE4 skeleton to the steel skeleton, we need to create a special animation blueprint for our steel mesh. Let's minimize the window for now and under the steel folder, let's right click on the empty space. Let's select the animation from the pop-up menu and let's select animation blueprint. And we select the steel skeleton and hit the create button. And let's rename it to steel underscore through FGE anim BP. All right, let's open it up and we should open our anim graph. If you don't have it opened for now, we just click anim graph here at left and here just near the output pose, let's right click and type read target. Pose. And we select the retarget pose from mesh node. Let's connect the output pin with the result. And let's now select the retarget pose from mesh node. And uh, in the details tab, as the IK retargeter asset, we of course select our UE4 mannequin to steal IK retargeter that we have downloaded by the link. All right? Let's save and compile. Now let's go to the BP True FG steel blueprint. Select the steel mesh. And in the details tab, we select the animation mode, use animation blueprint. And as an anim class, we select the 
steal through FG and MVP that we have just created. All right. Now let's select the parent mesh, which is our U4 mannequin. And in the details tab, let's type viz and we uncheck the visible option. And we also find the visibility based anim tick option. And we select here always tick pose and refresh bones. You know, let's save and compile. And I believe we can actually set the scale of the steel mesh back to 0 0.8. And you know, let's actually even set its scale to 0 0.95. Just for fun, I, I think the steel should be big enough, right? Great. Let's save and compile. And now, let's add the steel character to the engine itself, so we could use it. To do so, we navigate to the true... F ah, first of all, let's open up the BP true FG steel character once again and select its parent component in the components tab and let's type character in the details because we should give our character a, a unique name and as we duplicated the mannequin it has duplicated its name but let's rename this mannequin uv4 to steel all right and we save and compile once again and now we open our content drawer we go to the true fg blueprints miscellaneous and we select the bp through fg functions if you have followed one of my previous tutorial you already know how to add a character as our steel bp utilizes as the main mesh our our mannequin uv4 and the uv4 skeleton we can actually use the moveset created for the mannequin uv4 skeleton and the heat map created for the same skeleton as well. So uh, we just duplicate the mannequin UE4 node. I select it and press Ctrl D on my keyboard. Now we right click our make map node and we select the add key value pair. And as the key tree, we type steel. The name that we have given to our newly created character. And let's connect our output character pin to the value tree. So now let's make a change in our make, make character ma uh, node. We select the BP through FG steel as the character BP. But we don't change anything else because, as you remember, we utilize the mannequin mesh as our parent mesh, uh, but it is just hidden and it is being automatically retargeted to the steel skeleton. So, in this, for the sake of this tutorial, we only change the character BP. We save and compile. And we may now close this window. And we open up the content drawer and we navigate to the true FG blueprints. And let's open up the BP true FG game mode. If you have followed my previous tutorial, you know this. We just want to uh, change our main character. So here in this node, we change the queen character to steel. Right, and we save and compile. And just to make sure uh, from our outliner, let's uh, delete the current BP true FG settings just in case if it, it hasn't been updated yet. We delete it and we drag and drop a new instance of the BP true FG settings to our scene. And let's now run the game. All right and we see the steel character now we would actually like to hide its shield i believe 
do so. Let's now we get back to our true FG demo character still and open up the BP true FG steel blueprint once again. To hide uh, a bone in our skeleton, we need to know, to know the name of this bone. Uh, so let's select the steel mesh and I will actually show you how to find the bone. Uh, near the skeletal mesh, we can click this magnifying glass icon and open the steel mesh and select the skeleton tab. And we select the skeleton 3 tab. And we see this shield main uh, node. You see it here as a typo. Let's we can just right click, or if you type it manually, just remember that this it is written in this way: shield main. I just right click and select copy selected bone names. All right, and I go back to the BP through FG steel uh, blueprint, and I open up the construction script tab. And I drag the steel mesh and drop it to the graph. And I drag a connection. And I start typing hide bone by name. All right. And as the bone name, I paste the copied name shelled main. And I connect the parent construction script is the input node of the hide bone by name function node. And I save and compile. And let's now run the game. All right, and we have the shield hidden. Now we see that our <laughs> now we see that our steel character is not pos positioned in right. So let's go back to the blueprint. Viewport. Instead of the perspective, let's select right. All right. And we select the steel mesh and let's move it down. So, let's position something like this. We save and we compile. And let's set the perspective once again to perspective. Save and recompile. Let's run the game. All right, and it looks better now. 